and welcome to the Shack and First Monday Morning Minute. Good morning and welcome to the Monday Morning Minute. I'm Dr. Todd Shatkin and today we're going to be stabilizing an upper denture. My patient Robert has a couple of implants already in, but we're going to be adding four more implants to stabilize his upper denture. If you're not using mini implants to stabilize dentures, you're really missing the boat on a tremendous opportunity to help so many patients who suffer from loose dentures and missing teeth. Mini implants are a fantastic way to stabilize upper and lower dentures. Quick, easy, affordable, and a simple, quick procedure that you're gonna see right now. This is the basic denture stabilization. You've seen it before. We're gonna put four mini implants in. He's already got one conventional implant and one mini. We're gonna add four up here in the front area and stabilize his upper denture. We're going to be using two five 13 millimeter Shatkin First mini implants. And don't forget the Shatkin First mini implant are the only mini dental implants with the ASEAN coating. They're manufactured for us by BioHorizons Intralock and we've been do using these same implants so, since 2007. They work fantastic and they are the only one with the ASEAN coating which encourages bone apposition onto the surface and integration. So I'm going to go ahead and make our first pilot hole here to place the mini implants. And we're going to try to find some solid bone. His bone is a little soft in that spot. I'm going to try a little bit here. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to try that one. It seems okay. I'll take the first implant, please. We've already hollowed out his denture. So it should be ready to go. Let's see, where was our hole here? Mm -hmm. I think it's right here. There's our first implant in place. I'm freehanding these, but we certainly could use a surgical guide as well. His bone is a little soft and he's had a couple implants fail before because of the soft bone. Do you smoke, Bob? Yeah. Smoking causes that uh, reduction in blood circulation and, and whatnot. Um, let's see here, open big. Okay, the bone here feels a little bit better. I mean, I'm often asked, is smoking a contraindication to doing implants? Well, I mean, you're going to have a higher failure rate with people who smoke, but so many people smoke and they need the implants, so you can't really say it's a contraindication. We got a little beeping on that one. That was good. I mean, if you, if you eliminate smokers from the mix and you're eliminating 50% of your patient pool, so we gotta, we gotta do the implants on smokers, but they have to understand that there is a higher failure rate and may have to redo it. I'm gonna try one more implant here. Okay. If 
13. Open big. Open big. Open. Yeah, we got some good beeping there. It's interesting, his bone's a little stronger in the posterior. Typically, it's the other way around. But here we've added one, two, three, four implants. He has a conventional and a mini already. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up the housings. Let me just try this in and make sure it seats over. Open for me. Yeah, it's seating over them. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the housings on here. Okay. One more. Let's just make sure it's going up all the way. Open, open, don't bite. Yeah, it's being held up a little bit here. Let's, uh, let's see. No, you don't want it here. We already had that one on okay. here. Well, let's see here, open again. That's better. Okay, bite together. Okay, good. Open. All right, great. We're going to go ahead and pick these up. We're going to use our shack in first pink implant attachment reline material. We're going to go ahead and fill up the... Open up there? No. I think we're good. Open big? Good. Turn toward me just a little bit. Okay, bite together and just hold that for five minutes if you could, okay? You did great. Open, open. 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 Okay, bite together. Okay. All right, so it's been about five minutes now, and we're gonna go ahead and remove the denture. Open for me. Okay, good. All right, so here's the, here's the inside of the denture. We have a little bit of flash we're gonna trim away, but that looks real good. Let me go to the lab and just smooth this up and polish it and I'll be right back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the dentures back in his mouth. All the implants are nice and solid. We've got the housings picked up. The yellow ones are the new housings and then there's a, 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 a zest attachment and an old implant back here. Open big for me. Just gonna snap it in. That should be nice and comfortable. Bite together. Does that feel okay, Bob? All right. We're going to have you keep this in for the next, for the weekend, okay? All right, very good. Thank you for joining us on this Monday Morning Minute. We just simply stabilized an upper denture with addition of four mini implants to the existing two implants we had. Thank you, and I'll talk to you next time on the Monday Morning Minute. Join us on June 7th to celebrate a major milestone, Dr. Todd Shacken's 60th birthday party. We're hosting a backyard barbecue and a pool party at his home, and you're invited. The day kicks off with continuing education, so come learn, connect, and grow. Then stay for the food, friends, and fun as we honor Dr. Shacken's incredible legacy. It's a celebration you won't want to miss and a memory we'll make together. RSVP today, and we look forward to seeing you there.